I'm Toby from Hangman Drums. Welcome. This video is the first in a series of tutorials on how to play tune metal instruments. These tutorials are based on the classic snare drum rudiments. Now if you're not a drummer or familiar with snare drum rudiments, they're exercises or patterns that help with coordination and rhythm. I've put a link in the description to another YouTuber showing all 40 snare drum rudiments as a reference. In this tutorial, we'll first look at the pattern as it would be performed on a snare drum, then I'll switch over to the high-tech cardboard box so we can look at finger technique, and finally I'll finish off on a tongue drum to show how the technique translates to tuned metal. As a side note, the classic snare drum rudiments generally build on each other. This first lesson is relatively easy, but it will get progressively harder. Today we'll look at rudiment one, two, and three, the single stroke roll, the single stroke four, and the single stroke seven. The first rudiment is called the single stroke roll and is super basic, but if you're not a drummer, then you may need some practice to get the hang of it. Very simply alternate left and right, trying to keep the pace or tempo even and the pressure constant. So we can start slow and build up. So that's left, right, left, right, left, right. Pretty simple. Now we don't want to do a roll like this because we'll be focusing on finger technique without the drumsticks. And now with the cardboard box. You can use any hard surface, a book or a table. Okay, let's start with the four fingers, a direct replacement for the drumsticks. And we can start slow and speed up. Um, let's try our thumbs now. If that's simple for you, then we can add a variation to this basic rudiment. Start as before and then try doubling the tempo for four strokes and then go back to the same tempo. You can count this as one, two, three, four, five and six and seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven, eight. Now the fun bit about this is the one is repeated on alternate hands. So if we start with one on the right hand the first time, it'll start on the left hand the second time. So now on the tongue drum, we can play around with different positions and tempos. Okay, the second rudiment is called the single stroke four, which has a rhythm based around four strokes. It sounds like da 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 dum, da 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 dum. And here's what the notation looks like. Now the thing you'll want to practice is starting with alternating hands. So da 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 dum starting with your right hand, and then da 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 dum starting with your left hand. You can start slow and then build up. Okay, so a good exercise is to do two bars with your fingers, followed by two bars with your thumbs. I'll do that again. And faster. And we can continue the same exercise with different notes and positions. And the third rudiment is the single stroke seven. You'll get the idea of this one if you look at the notation here. 
similar to the single stroke four, except there are seven strokes. So it goes da 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 dum, da 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 dum. And again, you start from the right and then the left hand. Now, a quick tip is that the hand that you start on, the leading hand, if you extend it a little in front, then it will remind you which you started on, and for this rudiment, which hand to finish on as well. Let's try that with both fingers and thumbs. and we can translate that back to the notes of the tongue drum. So that's it for this quick video. I'll hopefully see you in the next tutorial, and remember that practice is the key to getting better. Thank you for making it all the way to the end. Check out our other videos or visit our website. The link is in the description below. And remember, stay tuned.